Goedemiddag, good afternoon, beste vrienden, dames en heren, vrienden, engelen van het Stiftfestival en lovers of music all over the world. Welcome to this live streamed concert here from the 14th century Stiftskerk, the heart of the Stift International Music Festival. Um, aan de Nederlandstaligen zeg ik, ik vermoed dat degenen die in het buitenland zitten minder goed Nederlands spreken dan jullie, onze vrienden hier in Nederland, Engels uh, beheersen. Dus ik ga dit grotendeels in het Engels doen, met jullie goed vinden. Dear friends, this should have been the final day of a splendid week full of chamber music side by side coaching by international masters and uh, talents from all over the world. Last year we had the first edition of the Stift Musical Encounters, which was a new springtime initiative uh, under the umbrella of the Stift International Music Festival. Of course, the main um, element of the festival has now for 15 years been the, by now, rather large uh, summer festival at the end of August. And we are tremendously much hoping and trying to realize some kind of festival this summer, the end of August, we will keep you posted we watch this space, as they say. It will be a combination of streaming, uh, innovative, uh, smaller concerts. We have to keep the music alive uh, while maintaining, of course, always public health and safety. These two things side by side. Just, I, I walk one circle, 360, so I can show you the uh, beautiful place we are. If you're very lucky, you can see our lovely board member, Herman, who's trying to hide from the camera back there. <laughs> So this is the Stift. If I show you over there, the little house behind the well. Show the go over there with the camera, up there. That's where I grew up. My whole childhood was spent here, hearing this bird song and looking out over this sheer beauty. And in 2005, I, with some good friends, decided this place needs a festival. Uh, Maya Bogdanovic here, the one and only wonderful Maya and I, we actually met at a, at a gorgeous little festival on, a festi on an island in Denmark called Feje. And the first piece we ever played together was this Pasakalia by Hendel Halvorsen. I cannot think of a piece that is more passionately and fun-filled virtuosity than this. We hope you will enjoy it. Hendel Halvorsen, Pasakalia. Thank you. 
And uh, can you believe it? I think that's officially pretty difficult for the cello. But you could have fooled me. <laughs> now I know why they have presenters alternating with the musicians, because it's exhausting to talk after playing. Ah, what a pleasure, ladies and gentlemen, dear friends, liebe Freunde and Engele van ons geliefde festival. There should have been four rather wonderful musicians right here in the church with us performing. And the wonderful thing is that uh, we musicians, we're, we're rather creative. I mean, we should be, and inventive. And through this whole corona crisis, we've been learning about technology as well, more than ever before. So we found all these ways of performing from our homes and, and connecting. So right now, I'd like to invite our first special guest, wonderful uh, Brazilian French pianist, Juliana Steinbach, great friend of ours and, and of the festival uniquely uh, brilliant, uh, shiny, uh, warm-hearted personality uh, in life as in music. Juliana finds herself somewhere in the French countryside, and I'm so happy to welcome her now direct from France into the Stiftskerk. Dearest Juliana, welcome, and, uh, and over to you. Daniel, Maya, my dear friends, thank you for welcoming me into your concert from Stift. I'm in uh, Normandy in France right now with my family since beginning of March and I was so much looking forward to the Stift musical encounters. I was so excited about everything we had planned to do together, the concerts and performances and coachings and chamber music masterclasses. It's, it all was just a, a dream. Uh, hopefully it will happen soon again and we'll soon have other chances to meet on stage, maybe already this summer, fingers crossed, and, um, and play for a, a physical audience. Daniel, you asked me to perform a little piece and uh, as you see I, I only have a really old and out of tune upright piano here in the beach house. 
so my possibilities are quite limited. Um, nevertheless, I chose a piece which I adore, which is the beautiful melody uh, of Orpheus by Gluck. It carries a, a very touching message of, uh, of love and uh, tenderness and uh, hope through the dark uh, times. Uh, and I think that's precisely what we need right now. So uh, I'm sending all of you all my love and uh, wishing everyone good health and um, all the best until we meet very soon again. Dearest Juliana, I have to say we were listening here and you know getting quite uh, quite emotional because to, to hear your your so personal, uh, beautiful, adorable words. Well, knowing you, it doesn't surprise me, but it's still it's still gorgeous. And then to hear you play this this this, this melody of love and and loss on this this horrible <laughs> old little honky tonk piano, uh, but it, it kind of illustrates our um, situation. Now you were there in a beautiful place, but isolated and you let the music shine through the music and beauty and uh, and love uh, we come to Vladi Vladi Mendelssohn uh, many of you will of course know him as one of the great viola players of, of our time and I almost want to say more than that but but beside that he is a, a musical uh, philosopher and someone who uh, well, among many other things, he programs the Kuchmo Festival in Finland, which I sometimes think of right, right as the kind of the, the big mama, the, the, you know, the mothership of all these European chamber music festivals. Uh, I have met so many people 
in Kuchmo, lasting musical friendships, inspiring combinations. I mean, the fact that Maya and I met is very largely due, uh, thanks to Kuchmo. So, dearest Vladi, um, I know you have a few words you want to say, and you can say these words uh, better, than, better than anyone. So, in the spirit of Kuchmo and Stift and all these beloved kind of sister festivals, it's over to you. Dear friends from the little paradise of Stift, dear music lovers, musicians and viola players, I am convinced that we all need a reminder of the things we lost but will regain as soon as hope gets reborn. The sound of all my friends making music is the sound of civilization which refuses to capitulate in front of the surrounding race into the darkness. We are the ambassadors of the best there is in the human creation and the most noble there is as well, the art among the arts, music. Join us in our mission impossible, bringing dreaming and beauty back into your lives. Dearest Vladi, thank you for those beautiful words. Uh, it's an honor and a joy as always to hear you speak about music and about life. Uh, by the way, I love the painting right behind you. This is beautiful. Uh, one of my favorite painters, I think. Dear Vladi, thanks. Uh, at this point, I'd like to say just a couple of words about, um, about the, this festival, the Stiff's Festival. So we have composers in residence every year. And last year, we had the privilege of uh, hosting the great Peteris Vasks, one of the great composers of our day. We'd love to play a piece by him now working closely with Peteris, and I think you might be seeing some pictures now of him. Um, it's so inspiring, a man who talks about belief, about nature, and about uh, love, and expresses that in his music as no one else does. And in these difficult days we're living through, what can be more important than those, than those things? We're going to play for you now, I'll just grab my bow, uh, Castillo Interior, uh, a piece for violin and cello based on the works by the books by Teresa von Avila, and it's all about finding heaven while uh, on earth, finding heaven on earth, deeply touching piece. Before that, we stay in the um, theme of nature, and we're going to play Raindrops by the eight or maybe eight and a half year old Sibelius. And actually, for this, I don't need my bow. So bow goes there. Little Sibelius, and beautiful. Fasks.
I think if we look at these uh, 
these windows here. Somehow I think the, this music and this, this vision is very, uh, very close together. And when I remember Peter standing here in this church just a couple of months ago and talking about um, nature, belief, reverence, and above all, love, and then about the dark forces in life, the monster, as in this piece. But then love, and then this piece, a beautiful D major love towards the end. Always winning. What a beauty. Thank you, Petrus, Maestro Vasques, for this magical piece. Um, time for some uh, beautiful, splendid guest appearances, two to be precise. One by one of the great Dutch young talents, and already an amazing young artist in her own right, and another by one of the great leading clarinetists of our day. Uh, first, um, the young talent. This is uh, Vera Böhmer. Vera is one of the shining lights on the scene of Dutch young violinists, won many competitions. She led the wonderful Netherlands Youth String Orchestra for many years, and I'm lucky enough to be her teacher at the moment at the Royal College in London, and Vera really has a spark when she plays, and that's what it's all about. And I asked Vera, who would have been here, in fact, as a student at the SME, I asked her, what will you play for us today? Um, maybe not physically present, but certainly um, in the minds here. And she came up with something really lovely. So, uh, dear Vera, it's great to see you uh, virtually, and uh, over to you. Hi Daniel, uh, met ons gaat alles goed. We zijn vandaag aan het opnemen voor een auditie voor een fonds. En we zijn net klaar. En we gaan nu voor jullie Liebeslight van Frits Kreisler spelen. Ik ben met Jorian van Nee. En uh, wij willen ons liefdesverdriet uitdrukken naar het stift, omdat het zo'n mooie, geweldige plek is om te zijn. En ik vind het heel jammer dat ik er dit jaar niet naartoe kan.
Oh, Vera, wat mooi. Dank je wel dat je dat voor ons gespeeld hebt. Natuurlijk het ideale stuk. Liebesleid van Kreisler. Natuurlijk Kreisler, de grote violist van ongeveer 100 jaar geleden. En ik, ik, ik las over Kreisler dat hij, hij een trucje had... dat hij als hij bijvoorbeeld een Brahms concert speelde met orkest... dat terwijl er orkest in leiding naar een soort climax toebouwde... hield hij zijn viool helemaal beneden, er gebeurde helemaal niks. En op het allerlaatste moment, als het publiek al dacht van... Jesus, is, is hij in slaap gevallen of leeft hij nog? Op het allerlaatste moment ging de viool omhoog... en in één beweging, tjoe, explosie van, uh, van passie. Dus hij was ook echt een, uh, een, een showman. En ja, ik denk dat ik terug naar Engels nu... I'd love to introduce someone who is not only a showman, but also one of the nicest people I know, and of obviously one of the uh, great clarinetists of this time. Uh, Thorsten Johans, for many years, was the principal clarinet of the famous BDR Symphony Orchestra in Cologne, and is now, among many other solo activities, he's also a professor in Weimar, and an incredibly generous uh, man and friend as well, as you will see by what I believe he's going to play for us in, in a moment. Uh, Thorsten told me about this, and it, it, for me it ticks all the boxes. This is an, uh, a contemporary piece, it's, it's crazy, it's incredibly interesting, and I believe it has also a, a personal connection for, for all of us. So, dear Thorsten, thank you for being here. It's a pity we're not here so we can, let's say, hug each other. But uh, over to your living room in beautiful Weimar. Hello from my home office and welcome to our living room in Weimar. This is a special musical greeting, a special musical message to all the angels and friends of Stift Festival and personally also to Maya and Daniel. I would really love to be with you right now. Very special greetings also to Annie. Van harte gefeliciteerd met je verjaardag, Annie. I would like to play a short version of New York Counterpoint by Steve Reich and my thoughts are with our mutual friend James Austin Smith who is currently in New York where so many people are suffering.
Oh, Thorsten, wow. My goodness, what an amazing piece. Thank you so much. I mean, that you, just from living room, can bring us that, that passion and, and excitement and such a cool piece. And also the dedication to dear James in New York. And of course, I add all of our Maya of mine loving uh, greetings and good wishes to James and to everyone in New York. And indeed to all our friends, mag musicians, magicians and musicians all over the world. Um, stay well and be safe. And beside that, uh, of course, you know, this is not, a, not an easy time for, for all of us. Um, um, if, if musicians start chatting on Skype, on FaceTime, about what we should have been doing these months, uh, artistically, inspirationally, friendshiply, not to mention financially, this is quite scary. And uh, I mean, who am I to speak up now? But I would say, if you watching now are in any position to help any musician around the world right now, please do. And if you are in a position in government, please do it. Make it happen, because what is life without art? And um, if you want to help the Stift Festival, I think you can press this little button. But I'm as happy if you help any musician in the world as you can. We talked about live music. Uh, how and music of this time and now nearing the end of our show, our performance for you, we'd love to play a piece by a composer who we love to bits, who was also featured on this new CD that Maya and I recorded recently for Challenge, uh, which has on it six world premieres, also by Marcelo Nizinman and by Penderecki, the great missed, uh, the great late Penderecki, and this piece, Giovanni Solima. Uh, brilliant Sicilian uh, composer, cellist, one of the most original pers personalities any of us has ever met. And we asked him for that CD, do you have any piece for violin, cello, duo? And he said, oh, I'm so sorry, I don't actually. And then he said, oh, actually, little light bulb, I think he said, I wrote a piece in the early 90s for a political demonstration in Palermo. Let me try and find it in the attic. And he found it in the attic, and this is it.
Uh, that piece needs applause, not our performance, but uh, the piece, or the piece that is. And yeah, I always say, I mean, the most exciting moment ever is to get a brand new piece from a composer, something just written, and uh, this got close. This was lying in Giovanni's attic for a while, and then he, he found it there, especially for at Maya's request. And I understand, who could ever say no to any request from, from Maya? <laughs> right? Yeah, you will remind me of that, I think, when I need to put out the, uh, the garbage or... Something like that. It's time to wrap up this lovely gathering. Um, thank you so much. Thank you for being here with us. Um, uh, thank you for the team to making this happen. Uh, um, Pascal and Dennis and the whole team of Concerto Media. Abbas, our wonderful uh, producer. Yoyanaka, our managing director. And um, the board led by the wonderful Patrice van Rimsdijk, the whole team behind the festival, um, that we could uh, put on a quality production into your living rooms this afternoon. I'm proud of that. Thank you for watching. Support the arts and musicians where you can. We love you all, and we're going to end with a piece that we also all love. This is Piazzolla from the 1950s. Have a lovely afternoon. Stay safe. Lots of, lots of love from Stift. Mm -hmm.